Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. The power plants have been refactored for Star Citizen 2.3 Alpha as part of the new item system 2.0 implementation. This is the latest system to be reworked, adding to the shields and coolers that we already have. Sizing. Sizing is important for power plants, as it is for all of these components, really. They'll come in four sizes, just like the other systems. Light or small, medium, heavy, and capital. Also referred to as size one to four, one being light. Typically, medium will be four to five times more powerful as a light item or small item. A heavy will be four to five times more powerful than a medium, and so on. In the old system, ships would have had one slot for a power plant, whereas now, in the new refactored system, they could have multiple slots. This allows for more customization, redundancies, and choice. For example, the 300i, which used to have one power plant slot, now has three light power plant slots, and the Super Hornet has instead one medium power plant slot. So what do power plants do actually in real terms in the game? They provide power to your shields, weapons, engines, thrusters, and other systems. They're the beating heart of your ship. Power plants will distribute power throughout your ship and can be prioritized by pushing one to put more power into weapons, two to put more power into shields, and three to put more power into engines on your keyboard. Um, so if you want more power to those systems, you, you push that button. You can see the, the distribution here on the screen. If you require more power than the power plant can produce, systems may power down or not function correctly. Items and energy weapons can have power capacities. So they can have like a reservoir of stored energy, which will be recharged from the power plant when the power is available from the power plant. Um, so they can be functioning even if you didn't have any power for a little while, say. Um, how do power plants differ from each other though? So size, as mentioned earlier, certain ships and ports take certain sizes of power plant. Amount of power they generate per second, active EM signature, so this is how much does the plant increase your EM signature when it's turned on. Uh, the heat capacity, how much heat it can hold before it overheats. Uh, the heat rate, how much heat it's generating per tick. Uh, the IR and EM multiplier. So this is the, the multiplier um, of infrared or electromagnetic that it multiplies your entire pool of um, IR or EM by. This will make you more detectable by radars or less detectable radars uh, and missile tracking and that sort of stuff. So IR missiles, if you've got a high multiplier, are more likely to be able to see you and track you. On the holo table in game, you can see how much power is generated per second and the amount of EM signature that is added to your pool, basically, the active EM signature uh, from the power plant and its size. But you can't see some of the other important stats. Uh, and we'll use this spreadsheet from Magalos here. Um, um, which I will link in the description, as I will with everything else. So I'll give you an example of some of the, the power plants. The Hypergen is a size 1 or um, small or light power plant. It generates 1,200 power per second. Uh, when it's active, it increases your EM signature by 1,500. It can hold 2,000 heat. It generates 50 heat per tick and multiplies your IR infrared pool by 1 and your EM pool by 1.25. That 1.25 is bad, that basically increases your EM pool. This differs from a different size 1 power plant, the, the Regulus. Uh, it's also size 1, but the Regulus generates 1400 power. Um, it adds only 1400 to your EM signature. Uh, it has a heat capacity again of 2000. It generates more heat per tick at 57.5. And it lowers your IR pool multiplier to 0.85. So you're going to have a lower IR signature. And compared to the other one, you're going to have a lower EM signature. Because the EM signature for this one multiplier is 1. Though it might generate heat faster, it actually makes your IR signature lower and it generates more power. Lastly, let's have a look at a size 2 one. So th this is standard. The, I think the Constellation gets two of them. Um, they're also in the like Super Hornet. So this is a medium power plant or size 2. The Exogen one, it's a huge amount more um, power stats-wise. It's got 6,000 power gen. It, can, uh, it increases your active EM signature by 7,500, which is a lot. Uh, it has a 10,000 power capacity, or heat capacity, should I say. Uh, 250 heat gen per tick, and an IR multiplier of 1, and an EM multiplier of 1.25. In the future, you might be able to put 
four light plants into a medium slot and four mediums into a heavy slot and that sort of stuff. But at the moment we don't have that functionality, but we can see that power plants vastly um, uh, uh, vastly different based on their size. But even the small differences between the same sizes of power plant, once you multiply them out over like three or four systems, they really will affect your ship. But all power plants have their upsides and their downsides. And you'll need to consider the heat created, um, the heat capacity, the power generated, the EM and IR pools, the active EM signature, as well as the needs of your individual items and the role of your ship. Some weapons are going to have a huge um, capacity for storage. So if you know that you're only going to be in short bursts of battle, that you'll be able to deal with and make your choices for your power plants differently. If you wanted something more stealthy, you're going to have to go for power plants with the lowest IR and EM multipliers possible, or possibly even ones with uh, a low active EM signature. Anyway, you can change your power plants on Hollow Explore, uh, the Hollow Table, and hopefully soon fire your Moby Glass in 2.4. Let's hope that. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching and listening. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help me, and I will see you in the verse.